So, all because I tried to put a bracket or a uh, drawer bracket, drawer catch here. Drilled a little pilot hole there. That pilot hole, I only went in with the drill bit about a quarter inch and then psh, Freon blew out of that hole. I hit coils in there. Who would have known coils were sandwiched in between here and right up close to this frame where there's other bolts in here supporting bolts. There's a Freon coil, condenser coil right in here, right up next to this front frame. So guys, don't do that. Don't screw brackets or catches into your refrigerator. That's an expensive mistake. But now we get to pick our model. This one we didn't get to pick. It came with the coach. I'd like to get a double French door one. We'll see. Alright, got the drawer out, drawer assembly, loosened up or removed four screws at the top bracket up here. The bracket up there, remove yeah. those, and there's two screws in the bottom, one in this hole, one in this hole, angled down into the wood, underneath the wood framing. So I got it pulled out about an inch and a half so far. Looks like I can't get the door off until I remove the whole assembly out. So we're going to slide it out and tilt it down onto here. We've got a uh, doggy bed underneath to make it a little softer and thicker. Protect the tile. Hey guys, we got it all. We got the residential refrigerator out or 2014 Tiffin 36 LA slid it out me and my wife uh, showed you where the screws were retaining it at the top and two in through that bottom grill area on the fridge after we got it out I was able to lean it over and then I removed the top hinge bracket and the door uh, slid up and off we got all the drawers out I should have had the glass drawers and stuff out from the get-go I forgot about that stuff but now it's pretty much an empty shell and I'm just going to get the dust off the top here first and I'm going to make a, a cut with the Sawzall metal, uh, metal blade cut right through this thing like butter hopefully slice it down this is the back this is the back here so slice it this way down, across the top, across the inside here, straight across, all the way down and down through the freezer there. Then it'll be narrower. It'll be narrower to fit out our door. Not have to remove the windshield or the driver's side window assembly. Too much work. And then I'll have to shop for a residential fridge that fits in this opening I could modify it a little bit maybe lower the floor because all residential fridges are close to 70 inches 68 to 70 inches now I think this was 65 something 65 inches tall all right here we go
longer blade, about two inches longer. Almost got it though. See, this is a, uh, a six inch saw blade right here. Six inch. It's going through pretty good except for the corners. The corners, it's not getting in too very good. Part of this bottom here too. So I think I gotta go out to Lowe's and get a, a nine inch blade. We'll be done with this. All right guys, I went through it one last time. Went through like butter, of course. I followed the same cut. This is a nine inch blade before. I was using this pack of six inch blades from Harbor Freight. I thought I'd, if they got dull, I could move on to another coarser one. But the first one worked well. It just didn't get all the way through in the corners. So we're gonna take a closer look at this thing now. little plastic piece of the inside did not get the blade cut all the way through it so I just got to snip that I think I can get those with my uh, my tin snips all right got it guys I'm happy for once again split in two pieces now I can easily get it out this doorway here no remo no removing windshields or side driver side glass assemblies this we can remove so we just got to get this removed everything cleaned up take measurements of my cabinet space and that'll be about it for this video guys stay tuned make sure you subscribe and you'll see which replacement refrigerator that I end up picking out and getting for the replacement thanks for watching guys I'll see you on the next one roll of duct tape before you start moving this stuff around it can be very dangerous these jagged edges and stuff up here you don't want to use bare hands on that and even if you have gloves wrap it up those corners with some duct tape with a couple uh, couple rows of duct tape that's what I'll do now I just remembered something. I might need this top upper bracket off this fridge because it doesn't come standard on fridges. They just add these when you're installing them in an RV. This bracket right here. Notice no screws in it. Guys, I can't stress this enough, how, the importance. Don't screw into your refrigerator. Use two-part epoxy or something like that made for metals. Don't make the same mistake I did. So I'm just going to see if I can use a hammer and screwdriver and get underneath here and get this off. Get it off with just a uh, screwdriver and a hammer. Like I said, they didn't screw it in. They just used some sort of epoxy to attach it. 
So we'll just have to clean that part up. And here's the refrigerator graveyard in our garage right now.